Station with a series sweep. Diamondbacks baseball is brought to you by Gila River Resorts and Casinos as the D-backs look to sweep the Nationals on Valley Sports Arizona. By Nelson, Diamondbacks look for the sweep of the Nationals. Nelson hits it in the air to center. Dominic Fletcher's out there today. One pitch, one out for the rookie right-hander. We saw today a chance to finish off the Nationals. Bounced up the middle and into center, a base hit for Garcia. His hot hitting continues. Now six for ten in this series. This one just a hard ground ball that found. Nationals don't run a whole lot. They have a stolen base or two here or there. This is bounced to second for Marte. They get one. Perdomo turns it. A beauty. And a quick first for Ryan Nelson. Three outs on six pitches. Diamondbacks are. Two batting average, and he's done a better job using that four seam fastball, especially of late. And this one out to left. Stone Garrett just a couple of quick steps to his left. So let's take a look at that. And now today, second. Trying to get on base for the 11th straight game, and he will without a play. Actually, on base, three man, the kids back in there, Corbin Carroll. And he jerks one to right that's hooking away from Lane Thomas. Ball hits the wall and stays in. Tony Paris Chica, the third base coach, will hold Marte. So a bunt and a liner, and the D backs are in business, bottom of the first. This, this is a 106. Two balls, two strikes with one out. Swing nice. and a miss. Trevor Williams at 90, burying one down and in. That's his 21st, 22nd straight. Marte at third, Carroll at second, and this one lifted on the infield. C.J. Abrams takes it just to the right of second base. You can have the next one, Louie, all we care about. It's a third out with two men on. You understand why. Three balls, two strikes, now to Joey. And he will rifle one to center. That's at their second base hit. And I was I was about to say, because he doesn't have a lot of walks, and just great take again. Two consecutive base runners now. And Dom Smith, his second walk of the series. He contact middle of the plate or middle of the field or third base, doesn't matter. There. And a tapper up the middle. That's going to get through. Home is Manessis. Dominic Smith held it third. Fletcher got to it quickly. Well, you called it, so to speak. Again on two and two. Got him. Garrett chased the slider. First strike out for Ryan. One away in the second. There goes call again. Abrams lifts it out to right. Here comes Paven Smith. Smith is at third. He's coming home. Here's the throw, and they got him. One Smith throws out another. Ryan Nelson in a big jam gets a much needed double play right there, but Washington takes the early lead. When things started to really roll for the D-backs. There goes one more. Laird is Gary Jr. Well, the power has started to show up. He has homered in three consecutive games, and we're tied at one. You know, we took the ball, the exit velocity wasn't what you had hoped for, but that has all changed over the last week or 10 days. He's hitting the ball with authority almost every time up. His homer. Full count three and two. Roberto Ortiz rings him up on a fastball that appeared to be ball four. Third strikeout for Williams. He started in the fourth. He's bidding for one way. There in the air, Christian Walker gone.
How about the launch angle on that one? 40 <laughs> degrees. <laughs> That's his eighth of the year. It's two to one. It's somewhere between 25 and 30 degrees. He hit that one straight up in the air. Got tremendous carry once again. Stone Garrett, much like last night, went back to the wall, ready to make a leaping catch, and realized I got no chance at that one. And a three hit game last. If you're on social media, got a tough one for you here. Single twice, scored a run, had two tremendous sacrifice bunts, sends Lane Thomas back to the track, to the wall, and it's off the base of the wall. Dominic Fletcher is in there with a double. Boy, he has been something. An 11 for 21. And that's going to be a run. They will send Guriel home from third. Fletcher into third. And it's three to one. No batter in the right handed box. Uh, a little shallow here. We'll see. Thomas is under it. Fletcher's at third. And here he comes. Oh, he's going to stop halfway. to move up in the box closer to the pitcher. Yeah, got him on a fastball just above the belt. But the Diamondbacks get to home. Led by Christian Walker's eighth home run of the year. And after four, they lead the Nationals three to one. One and two to Stone. Epon goes scooting through out to left center. Nats second leadoff man aboard today. There you go, third baseman way off the line, perfectly placed. Garrett has to stop at second as Guriel was shaded over that way. And now with Vargas, a versatile hitter coming up. And it's so easy, and at home, you're like, well, why don't you guide it over there every time? You can't guide the baseball. You can guide a bunt. Mm -hmm. And that's perfect from Vargas. Garrett to third. Abrams to second. Il Demaro Vargas having a good. Thomas up the middle, not hit hard. It'll score a run over to third is Abrams. Lane Thomas, third RBI of the series, and we have a 3 2 ball game. Garcia waits for it and ties the game. Stayed back, pitch up. Luis Garcia, 7 for 12 here in Arizona. And the Nats have erased the deficit here in the fifth. Nice. One more on top of it, drive it in the gap, drive it out of here. He gets jammed and lines it to Marte. Ball was caught in the air. So the Nats, single, single, single with a sacrifice. And we're back even halfway through. Off to a good start. Lead off man aboard. Second walk issued by the Nationals right hander. The fans in cheers. <laughs> Spell out Giants. And uh, you know really. Arte to right field. Lane Thomas. It's off the wall. Rojas on the run. He's coming around third. The relay goes into third. Diamondbacks have the lead. Well, Lane Thomas is not known for his ability to go back on a ball, and that one. Another hard hit ball by Cattell Marte over the head of Lane Thomas. Took an odd carom off the padding out there, and by the time he was able to run it down, Rojas had scored. Cattell Marte on at third base with another triple. His third of the year. There's Corbin. And there's ball four. That brings up Guriel. Who had a four hit game last night, including his ninth inning homer. And then that game tying homer in the ninth. Here goes another one. High in the air. Darren at the wall. Goodbye. Oh boy, Lourdes Guriel Jr.
That's three home runs in his last four plate appearances. And the Diamondbacks have oh, 96 tailing back in toward his hands. He just mashed that ball to left field. He is so hot right now. Wow. Seventh career. Ball up, lead off man aboard, fourth walk for the Diamondbacks. All three of the previous walks have scored. And now it's second walk in the inning issued by Harris. And now it's Cattell Marte. Third walk in the inning. Harris is low to the bases without the benefit of a base hit. And here comes the red hot Corbin Carroll, who has it safely in. Got him. Good splitter there from Hobie Harris. And there are two outs in the sixth. Hard to short. Abrams is there. And Harris walks the bases full and leaves him that way. We head to the seventh up 7 3. Off the Washington seventh, Joe Mantiply back out there. And he gets an easy out on the tap of a walker. Ginkle is ready in the bullpen. And here comes Tori Lavello. Party on it. There it is. Great swing out into left center. Vargas, third hit of the series and six at bats. Look at him around the bag. Veteran guy showing the young guys, I don't care what the score is. I'm working. Thomas, a great swing the other way. Vargas digging for third. Hitting the cutoff man, Smith. First and third for the Nats, one out. Nice job by Lane. Just take your legs out. Pitch one spot for Luis Garcia. Nowhere near easy take. Base is loaded. All five. This game, even though they lead by four. Uh oh. Habert's going to have to hustle. No chance for a relay. So the Nets do get a run. You're thinking off the bat. Oh, maybe a double play ball, but it was well placed. So it's seven to four now. And to the left side, off the glove of Rojas. Thomas scores. 7-5 game. The scrappy Nets are not giving up. First pitch, out to short. That's it. Right after a walk. Alice Call, first pitch swinging. The Nets score a couple. They strand three. They've left seven through seven. Here's the leadoff walk. Well, this is how the sixth inning started. Hobie Harris walked three in the inning, and they couldn't get a run home. Let's see a pinch runner right here. Ball four. First two have reached, and now it's Dominic Fletcher. Up three and one on Dominic Fletcher. They're loaded. He's walked the first three. This is where we were in the sixth inning. First pitch swinging. Coming home. Ruiz got the tag on there. The foot may have come off the plate, but they get the out. Boy, Perdomo up there. The guy just walked the first three. He faced a roll. Another bouncer. A little hesitation by Smith, low throw. They do get the force on Perdomo as Guriel comes across, and it's eight to five. So they're able to get one home, but two. It is. Herrera on the move. That's ball four. They're loaded again. This time for Cattell Marte. That's three consecutive walks drawn by Josh Rojas. Popped up. Diamondbacks has some golden opportunities to blow this open. They get only one, and the lead is three.
pitcher over the right. Nelson, still the pitcher. Stone Garrett serving one out to the new right fielder. He's two for four today, and in the series, three for eight. Nice shot by seven. Taking it with him. It's looking pretty good. Wow. And it gets away over by the rail. CJ will go back to first, but Garrett will motor all the way to third. This will be their second air as an infield this year. Vargas batting right handed now. High chopper to third. They're going to go for a couple. Ildemaro digging. He's called out by Rob Drake. Stone Garrett scores. Joey Friday night and a ball to left falling base hit Luis Garcia is going to second nice job look at him all fired up I think he saw less than a hustling effort by Goriel out in left that's a double but he didn't give him one Gay Beardle for four with a RBI grounder that's a base hit Gary DeSarcina has to hold the hitter here come the scrappy Nets. Now, Next up, Joey Manessis. Are we going to get a pinch runner? Oh, yeah. Joey Manessis, high in the air. Left field. See you later. The Nets have done it again. <laughs> Hanging slider, and he finally destroys it. 381 feet. I don't care how far. That's a bomb. Why? Because we've seen nothing but ground balls. He gets it and absolutely annihilates it into a spot he hit twice during the. Well, just Ooh. a spinner right there. And just we saw it the pitch the time before. It was rollover. This time he stays short to it, long through it. He got the elevation that he needed. That has to feel so good for him. Not so good for Dominic Smith off his foot. Call reaching. Castro grabs it. Whoa! Lobbing it Go all the three. way over to the barrier on the right side. Alice calls going to third. Uh oh. And that's not close. Swing and a miss and a pitch down and away. We've had two of the most amazing ninth innings on the road in recent memory in this series. Nats couldn't hold on last night. Can they hold on today after this ball that Joey Manessis just hit halfway to Mexico? Nats on top, 9-8. to eight. Some work remains. Out to short. Abrams behind it. There's one. And down and in by plenty. Tying runs aboard. One out. Oh. Caught by Vargas. What a reaction. How about the hops? Two down. Keeping that ball out of the left field corner and possible presence of mind to, to look for the double it, play. But to not throw it, not force the envelope right there where maybe you throw that away. Now he gets all the way over. Here. Yeah. Swing Woo. and a miss. An amazing comeback win by the Nats. The scrappy Nats. Only the ninth. Father-son duo now in the Major League history to have saves. Hunter Harvey with his first big league save. Maness, yes, with a three-run bomb, but 